Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here and you're into photography, particularly interested in learning how to become a better photographer and if you want to join the community then why not hit that subscribe button and tickle that notification bell. So let's get on with our topic today. It's going to be a short topic but it's going to be a very important one. So today we're talking about vignettes. This is a pet peeve of mine, not so much using vignettes, but overly using vignettes. Um, so before we crack on with the video and some examples, let's talk about what a vignette is. So a vignette is a darkening of the image on the outside in order to bring the focus into more or less the center of the image to the main subject. My pet peeve is when vignettes are too heavy on an image and it's overwhelming. So let's look at some examples and I'll show you what I mean. And then I'll show you some workarounds. Stay tuned. This is the image I took a few years ago. It's Baltimore Harbor on Christmas day. And as you can see, you can clearly see the vignette. It's doing its job by focusing the eye to the center of the photo, but also it detracts because the vignette is far too strong. So let's see how I would fix this with the second photo. So as you can see with the second photo, the vignette is still applied, but it's feathered so much that you can't see the transition. It seemed a shame that after going out, making the effort of capturing a beautiful image and then doing your post-production and then at the end of it you, you, you sort of spoil the image or you weaken the image by putting a, a heavy vignette on. I would suggest just try putting a very light vignette on it and all it will do and that will enhance your photo. I hope that makes sense. And remember you don't always have to put a vignette on a photo. But if you do, just keep it light. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you again for spending time on the channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the link below. In the meantime, guys, stay safe. And as always, happy shooting.